the one minute, the famous one minute explosion. I'm still caching and it takes longer to flip book this than it does to actually sim. So I, I really like the details we're getting here. Like all the small strands, like all the tiny little turbulence that's happening here, how, how this section kind of converts from spikes to nice rounded shapes. It looks very organic. I was quite happy with it. And I, I, wanna, I wanted to give you guys this file to play around with so you can benchmark Axiom. This is the ultimate Axiom benchmark. So what we're gonna do here, all right, so it finished uh, flipbooking this. So what we're gonna do is, I will give you the cached emitter. Now this is one of the advanced emitters that I will show in the up and coming workshop. So you can see this emitter has a lot of voxels, even by itself. It has around seven million and a half voxels. It's not that optimized, uh, but you need it to be like this to get the really tiny details happening here. And Axiom doesn't have too much of a problem dealing with this uh, massive emitter as well. So that's why I'm calling this the ultimate benchmark. All right, so I'm gonna give you the cache emitter and the Axiom simulation settings. And let's see what we get. So let's cache this and see if it's still the one minute explosion champion. It's up to frame 70, so not frame 75, up to, but what is the time at frame 70? That's what it counts, okay? Let's get, let's get the rules straight. And a lot of people on better GPUs than mine uh, said that this is, that it took like 45 seconds for them. So this can be faster. All right. Just a bit more. Almost there. Come on. Has to be under a minute. Ooh, so close. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, under a minute. Under a minute. Frame 71. Doesn't count anymore. It was under a minute on frame 70. Unbeatable. One minute explosion champion. <laughs> but yeah, this is a go good setup uh, for you to test out Axiom and see where you get uh, when what you get with your uh, GPU. I'm not sure what's the voxel count on this anymore. Let's see. We are getting, yeah, it's around 100 million, I would say. That's if I stop clicking. So yeah, active voxels is 100 something Let's see yeah so that's a good way to test your gpu and like i said before with if we go to the axiom solver let's go to the first frame here you can set your voxel counts so you can see uh what are, what are we doing now is that 10 million one two three one two three ten million that's nothing 100 million so with 100 million it's going to take around 5 gigs or a bit more or less of your vram so if this simulation takes 110 which is something like this you set it to 110 and you can see how much vram so if you have 7 to 12 gigs you're going to be completely fine so it's going to be a good benchmark and then if you want here on the other side uh, there's a a faster low res version that's still going to look pretty good i think and that will take even less time. So you can try this one as well. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I think this one is at least half, at least twice as fast. Let's see if we can get at half a minute. We might not hit half a minute. All right. 
close enough, right? Close enough. So that's the low res version. Looks pretty similar. So this is also a good uh, comparison for high res and low res. So you can see between low res and high res, the shapes are kind of trying to keep it together. Now keep in mind that a lot of that is going to be coming from your emitter. So if your emitter has nice shaping values, so uh, that will translate to your simulation like this, then your you can see your explosion will look very similar even when you're testing on the low res values. All right, so give this benchmark a try. Let me know what speeds you get and happy testing.